Howdy everybody, it's Sam here. I hope you're all doing really well. If you're a brand new viewer to the channel, hello and thank you for giving this video a crack. Hopefully I can convince you to give us a sub and a like by the end of the video. What I do on this channel is talk about rugby league predominantly and this weekend we got only two matches of rugby league occurring in Australia but they're two absolute belters. For the one and only time in season 2021, Women's State of Origin is taking place live from the Sunshine Coast Stadium. Queensland Maroons host the New South Wales Sky Blues. It's the second year in a row Sunshine Coast Stadium. Queensland are hosting the New South Wales Women's State of Origin and Queensland are looking for back-to-back -back victories for the first time in a damn long time in the Women's State of Origin because it's been dominated by the New South Wales Sky Blues for well over a decade now. In my opinion, New South Wales is more of the star-studded uh, blockbuster side between the two. Uh, you have reigning women's uh, player of the year from last year, Jessica Surges playing in the centres. You have speed star Batil Vete Walsh playing at fullback and you have legendary players such as Maddie Studden and the captain of New South Wales Sky Blues uh, in Kezi Apps. Both sides have coaches that are debuting this Friday night. So there's a bucket of weight Put on the shoulders of both of the coaches that's for sure and as for the Queensland Maroons side there's a couple of really interesting stories the hooker number nine Destiny Brill uh, swapped or traded uh, over to rugby league from rugby union and she hasn't made an NRLW appearance I'm not too sure if she's actually sh signed a contract with an NRLW club uh, but she's making a state of origin debut at hooker this Friday night and the reports coming out from uh, Super Rugby last year was that she is a superstar and um, what a loss it, it, it's going to be for uh, women's, women's rugby. And the same can be said for uh, a debutante as well, coming off the bench, uh, Natasha Pirantakinen. She was playing for the Queensland Reds as well and she suffered ACL injuries and she's making a state of origin debut this Friday night. Uh, it's just, it'd be just a whirlwind for us. So go to nrl.com and look for the name Natasha Pirantakinen and read her story. It's a really nice and really cool story as well. And the captain for the Queensland Maroons is, of course, the war horse, in my opinion, in Ali Brigginshaw. There is combinations on both sides as well. Uh, you've got, I think, one to six, maybe even one to seven. They're all Brisbane Broncos W players. And we all know how successful the Brisbane Broncos W franchise has been uh, since its inception in 2018. And then on the other side, it's more so Sydney Roosters and St. George Illawarra Dragons combinations that are coming um, into the forefront. I'm going to flip a coin and I'm going to come down on New South Wales. Yes, they're playing away from home, but I actually think that there might be a little bit of uh, magic dust coming down from Brad Fittler's uh, State of Origin men's side and uh, filtering into the women's camp, I reckon. Uh, so I'm going to tip the upset and I'll, I'll tip the Sky Blues uh, to win 1-12 to on Friday night. And then on Sunday, it's the big one. From Suncorp Stadium, it's the Queensland Maroons hosting the New South Wales Blues. Reese Walsh at fullback. I wouldn't have done it, but if he's got the talent, and boy howdy he does, get it out there. He is going to be so special if he isn't already. And my man Francis Molo! Makes the State of Origin debut this Sunday night at 17, coming off the bench. Richly deserved. He has been sensational for years for the Cowboys. And I cannot believe that he's going at the end of the year to St. George Illawarra. You bastards have a fair income, good quality prop coming your way. So what would I have done if I didn't pick Race Walsh? I probably would have kept Holmes at fullback. Kyle fell out on the wing. 
and debut either the Hammer or Ronaldo Molitano from the Cronulla Sharks. And as for the New South Wales squad, it's still the same blockbuster side minus Jake Trevojevic uh, and in comes Angus Crichton, who I think Angus Crichton has had a really bloody good season. The first great season in a couple of years, actually. How can anyone tip against New South Wales uh, this Sunday night? So my tip goes with New South Wales Blues by 1-12. to 12. I don't think we're going to get a half century like we did in Game 1, but I do think New South Wales will wrap the series up. Uh, this Sunday at Suncorp. Well, with the NRL taking its annual buy round there, ain't too much else to talk about really, but there is one thing that I should probably make factual, and that's not I don't think Brisbane Broncos are making the top eight. Hence, this is what needs to happen now. So those are my tips for State of Origin and once again thank you so much to everyone that comes in, leaves comments, likes and subscribes and um, continuously supports the channel and if you're new around here, hello and thank you once more. Next week is an NRL round, a full NRL round and I won't be doing a tipping video next week but I will upload something. Uh, I'm doing my tips with Warriors NRL Fanatics, I'm going to be a guest on his channel on Tuesday at 7.30, so I hope um, you can all tune in for that. Uh, it should be a good time with him, and I hope everyone has a really nice weekend, and as always, go Cowboys.